Hello, my name is Alicia Lemons, and I'll be talking about ethylene glycol toxicity in our household pets. Your owner will wonder and ask questions, why would my pet drink antifreeze? How are they exposed to antifreeze? What happens if they drink it? And we will answer those questions throughout the video. First things first, what is antifreeze? Antifreeze is the automotive liquid used to keep cars from freezing during the winter and in homes to keep the pipes from freezing. It contains ethylene glycol and can be brought in any store. It is extremely toxic to pets and the most common consumed product is radiated antifreeze, which contains 95% ethylene glycol. Your common cause of ethylene glycol poisoning is through ingestion of the toxic material. One way this happens is due to puddles found in garages. where the animal may smell the sweetness and ingest the product. Okay. Another way is the animal may step into the, the puddle later, then when grooming may also ingest the material. In areas where winter is extremely cold, people may add antifreeze to their toilets to prevent the pipes from freezing. It's going. Okay, no frozen pipes. And pets who tend to drink out of them will end up drinking the toxin. This Discovery also shows holiday ornaments such as snow globes were found to contain ethylene glycol in the liquid, which may break and crack, leading to the animal and consuming the toxic liquid. Good. Hello, this is Michael Nance. In this portion of the video, we'll be discussing what the toxin ethylene glycol does as it passes through the animal's body. Ethylene glycol is rapidly absorbed from the GI tract. Peak blood concentration of ethylene glycol occurs within three hours of ingestion in dogs, and it is then metabolized to oxalic acid. Oxalic acid combines with calcium to form calcium oxalate crystals, which precipitate into microscopic structures within the kidneys, which will in turn cause acute renal failure. Crystals also flood the microvasculature of other organ systems, setting them up for multi-organ system dysfunction. Oxalic acid further creates a severe, life-threatening metabolic acidosis, causing respiratory and cardiovascular signs, and can cross the blood-brain barrier, leading to neurological abnormalities and death. Action. In 30 minutes to 4 hours, the owner will see the signs of uh, stage 1. Clinical signs include ataxia, depression, knuckling, incoordination, stumbling, hyperexcitability, stupor, increased thirst,
nation. Déjalo que camine. During this stage, there's a brief period where the animal may seem to recover and clinical signs disappear. However, this is only temporary. During the onset of stage two, which occurs four to 24 hours post ingestion, clinical signs include cardiorespiratory signs such as increased heart rate, increased respiratory rate, low body temperature, and meiosis. Action. During the onset of stage three, which occurs 24 to 72 hours post ingestion, clinical signs include signs associated with renal calcification, severe depression, neon green vomit, diarrhea, dehydration, increased BUN and creatinine, palachiuria, and painful kidneys on abdominal palpation. Animals presented in this stage have very poor prognosis. The lethal dose in cats for ethylene glycol is 1.5 milliliters per kilogram. The lethal dose in dogs is 6.6 .6 milliliters per kilogram. And I'm back. Your veterinarian may be able to perform a blood test to measure the amount of ethylene glycol in the blood. This test needs to be performed within 12 hours of exposure to be accurate. Medications and other treatments such as propylene glycol can help false positive results. If the test is not performed within 18 hours of ingestions, false negatives can occur due to clearance of the chemical from the body. Other laboratory tests other than blood work include urinalysis and abdominal ultrasound may also help diagnosis of ethylene glycol toxicity. Known antidotes. Action. Now antidotes like bortomethoprazole can be administered to your pet to help prevent damage caused by ethylene glycol. This is currently only acceptable in dogs. Incidental treatments are often continued until the ethylene glycol test is negative. Side effects include excessive salivation, gagging, increased respiratory rate, and trembling. Other treatments include ethanol, grain alcohol administration, 5 mg per kilogram every 6 hours for 5 days. Side effects of the drug include depression. The drug is effective in both cats and dogs. Aggressive fluid therapy is aggressive fluid therapy is concurrently administered to flush out the kidneys. Activated charcoal may be administered orally to prevent absorption of the chemical from the GI tract. This drug is often followed with an enema to enhance the elimination of the toxin. For immediate first aid, if only if you are positive that your dog has ingested antifreeze, try induced vomiting by giving a simple hydrogen peroxide solution one teaspoon per five pounds of the body weight, with no more than three teaspoons given at once. This method should only be used if the toxin has been ex exposed in the previous two hours. This should only be done three times with a 10 minute interval. Do not induce vomiting if your dog is unconscious, is having trouble breathing, or exhibiting signs of distress or shock. Prognosis directly correlates with the amount ingested and time of treatment. Prognosis for the animal exhibiting any clinical size is grave. If exposure was within one to two hours, prognosis is guarded. If pets are suspected of consuming antifreeze, call your veterinarian or animal poison control center immediately. American SPCA Animal Poison Control Center is 24-7 at 888-426-4435. Individual credit cards charge $65. Pet Poison Helpline is also 24-7 at 800-213-6680, $39 consultation fee. Hello again. Don't be fooled by lessening of early symptoms. This is a false recovery before the kidneys shut down. If you wait to treat until after kidney failure has begun, the animal is not likely to survive. Patients who develop severe central nervous system manifestations or stroke may have long-term neurologic dysfunction if they survive. The most significant long-term dysfunction is the kidneys, which will have permanent damage, often requiring chronic dialysis or kidney transplant.
If pets are suspected of consuming antifreeze, call your veterinarian or animal poison control center immediately. ASPCA Animal Poison Control Center. <laughs> to keep your dog from getting exposed to glyph... Oh, I did that. If pets are suspected of consuming antifreeze, <laughs> stop! Action. No antidotes like for... Uh, Action. Your common cause of ethylene glycol poisoning is through ingestion of the toxic material. One way this happens is due to puddles found in garages where the animal may smell the sweetness and ingest the product. Another way is the animal may step into the liquid and then later when grooming may also ingest the material and I just not the You ready? Yeah. Your common cause of ethylene glycol poisoning is through the uh, sorry. <laughs> Action. During the onset of stage 3, which occurs 24 to 72 hours post ingestion, clinical signs include signs associated with renal calcification, severe depression, neon green vomit, diarrhea, dehydration. <laughs> oh my god. Are suspected of consuming antifreeze, call your veterinarian or animal poison control center immediately. American SPCA Animal Poison Control Center 24 7. And why are you laughing? If pets are suspected of consuming antifreeze, call your veterinarian or animal poison control center. Uh -oh. Is this the last one?